Hello, hello. It's Kenny Evans here. Another car video. It's a different view. Got some uh, stuff going on here, but it's all good. Still going to be uh, bringing y'all some quality content here, so no worries. But uh, the title of this video is Why Women Don't Want You to Listen to Them. And this is a very important topic. It's discussed all throughout um, the manosphere. You know, and it's um, something that all men need to know to have happy and successful relationships and not only just relationships, but interactions in general with women, you know, and that's all women, moms, sisters, aunts, random women you meet, you know, so this is a very important video. Keep in mind, but the first reason women don't want you to listen to them is because they want you to be the leader. So as a leader, you are not going to listen to somebody who is following you. You, as the man, have to tell your follower what to do, where to go, how to treat you, what, they, what she can and cannot do around you. You are the leader. And obviously, this is going all the way back to um, prehistoric times. Men are generally bigger than women. So how is it going to look for a man, specifically back then, to be following a smaller, mo much more vulnerable species or person or thing? Even today, all things equal. Men are still more bigger than women, generally speaking. You know? But even if they if the woman was a giant, men are much more emotionally stable. They are much more tactical. So they understand how the dynamics between men and women act or should be better than women do. Especially because of feminine, feminism nowadays. Women think that they're supposed to be the, the leaders because they can do anything men can do. And anybody who's had that happen, been in a relationship where the woman was more the lead, you know how that turned out. And that was terrible. So as men, you are supposed to lead your woman. No excuses. You're the man, you're the leader. That's what strong, confident, secure, select alpha males do. They lead. Not only just with women, but all aspects of their life. But that's the first thing. First reason women don't want you to listen to them. Second, as a man, you're supposed to stand on your principles and do what you want during your interaction with the women with the woman or with women, if you're not looking for a relationship and she is, you're not going to have a relationship. If you are looking for a relationship, but she's not, you could work with her, but it is always best to move on to a woman who would be looking for for a relationship just to make it easier for yourself because if she's not looking for a relationship sure you could convert her but that will be a lot of effort and we all about making things easy for ourselves you know you got a date planned for with the woman first I, I advise you don't tell her where you're going but if you do and she said you, say you want to go to a restaurant if she tells you well I want to go to um, the movies you either go to that restaurant or you don't date her. Because it's all about you. What do you want? Miles says that all the time in uh, Lakara's live streams when people call it Miles Cunningham. What do you want with women? That's all that matters. What do you want? It doesn't matter what she says or what she wants. It's all about what you want. 
And if you don't know what you want, you got to figure that out in order to have a happy relationship or interactions with women. Because now you have a standard and if women don't meet that standard, you're able to cut them off faster because you know they're not for you. So it's very important that you know what you want with women. Oh yeah. Next, women are emotional and what they want changes rapidly every minute. It's the next reason why women don't want you to listen to them because they don't even really know what they want. A woman will tell you, hey, you're not spending enough time with me. But then you spend more time with them and hey, oh man, now you're smothering me. How come you're spending all this time with me? Give me some space. And then you give her space. And then, oh man, how come you're not spending any time with me? Yeah. <laughs> Their emotions are wishy-washy, back and forth, you know? So you cannot trust what they say because they don't even trust what they say. They are all about what they feel in the moment. You could be married for to a woman for 10 years. She'd tell you, oh my gosh, you never listen to me or you're a terrible husband. And then you're like, what? What do I do? I was, I've been doing all this stuff for you, this, that, and the other. I made sure you take care of. He said, oh, I hate you. But then the next minute, you buy her flowers. Oh, you're so sweet. I love you. You're the best husband in the world. Yeah. It's like, you just cannot trust what they say. And if they, again, if they don't even trust what they say, how come you're going to trust what they say? And that's the reason you shouldn't. You shouldn't listen to them. And then on top of that, they're always going to be pushing that goalpost. Boom, boom. The more you listen to them, the more they're going to be pushing that goalpost. Because you've given them that control. A woman says, oh, well... You know, I wish you would buy me more gifts. It would really make me feel special. And you buy them the gifts. And you say, well, I really want to go to this restaurant. You know, we really, it's really expensive, but we haven't been there. And it would really make me feel more special. And you go to the restaurant. <laughs> said, oh, well. You know, I would really like to travel to this country, just me and my girlfriends. You know, I've never been there before. And it would really make me feel more special. You pay for a trip for her and her girlfriends. Well, her and her girlfriends could tag along to go to this country. She's never been. And it's just, it's constantly going boom, boom, boom. And it never stops. It never stops. Because their goal is not to benefit both of you, it's to benefit them. They'll, their goal is self preservation. Get whatever they can out of the situation to help themselves. I know some of y'all, you know, insecure, weak men, y'all be like, no, women are so. Sugar and spice and everything nice. They're all about, you know, helping everybody. They want to make the be the relationship better. Do what they want. Continue to do what they want. We'll see how far that gets you. And as you, here's the next reason. You shouldn't be listening to women or they don't want you to listen to them. They lose respect for you. They lose respect for you. Because they realize you are not going to um, tell them what to do. You're not, you're not going to stop listening to them. You're going to keep on listening to them. You're not going to check them. You're not going to tell them no. And therefore, they realize you're like a puppy dog or a child. They could tell you what to do and you're just going to go for it.
You know, what would anybody want to listen to somebody or respect somebody who will not tell them no and who will do whatever they say? What would they want to listen to them or respect them for? There's no consequences because I constantly tell them what to do and they're doing it. What would they respect that person for, that man for? What would that woman respect that man for when she's the leader? You know? And as we know, she is only going to do what's best for her. That's in their DNA as women. You know, but I will say, I will say this, because it is important. If a woman has an issue that's life-threatening, like, hey, you like seafood, but she's allergic to seafood, you should probably not go to a seafood restaurant. You know, consideration is, is important because that's being a leader. It's being a strong man. A strong man is not a tyrant necessarily. He is just a leader. He directs his life in the direction he wants it to go. And he has women who will follow his direction and his lead to the benefit of him and her. But if you're doing something that will harm her, then you shouldn't do it. That's that's not that's not good. And that's where you could keep her into consideration. You know? Or if a woman um was a good one. I mean, pretty much it's just anything that her life can be threatened by or she has an extreme fear or phobia. I mean, even though there, that's still a little iffy because you want a woman who will trust you and trust you have the best judgment for her and will actually follow your lead even into danger. But, you know, if a woman's afraid, deathly afraid of heights, Maybe not going on a roller coaster would be a good idea. You know what I mean? Again, we're not tyrants. Even though you may love roller coasters, if she's deathly afraid of heights and she could pass out or have a panic attack and you had to console her and then she's actually more um, bad than good with you in a situation, you know, we got to take, take the path of least resistance. You know, and we got to make sure that she is she is comfortable enough to follow your lead and also be pleasurable to you and not a hindrance to you. You know, so you always got to keep that in mind. But those are some of the reasons that women don't want you to listen to them. Except in, of course, very special circumstances. So that's all I got for y'all today. Um. If you enjoy the video, which I hope you guys did, like, comment, subscribe, you know, hit that notification button. Let me know what you thought about the video, whether you agree or disagree. You know, of course, let me know other topics that you would like me to talk about when it comes to the dating and relationships. You know, and we'll do some other topics as well, because um, I want this, this channel to be about men becoming overall high value, high quality men. Not just in the dating relationship, but throughout their life. You know, all aspects of their lives, let me say. And of course, um, if you feel the value and feel the need, donate. I appreciate any donations. You know what I mean? If you, if you feel I've brought value to your life with these videos, donate. You know, and I appreciate it again. But again, until next week, I'll see you guys. Be safe. And... Peace.